Hello everybody, welcome to the PG Perspective. Let's chat. So you know how it works here. I got my bottle of maple whiskey. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually running really, really low on maple whiskey here. But I got my Crown Royal glass full of ice. And you know how this works. We just pour a drink, we have a chat. So, cheers. I'm gonna basically just down this bottle. Wow, that was not as much as I was expecting. This is this might be a quick drink today. So now that I have my drink, let's talk. The big question I have today is, are home consoles dead? This has been a question I've been thinking about for the last little bit now, because if you think about it, the Nintendo Switch, is that Nintendo's last home console? Can you even really call it a home console? Because you can bring it on the go with you. It's kind of like a portable kind of handheld, you know? It's kind of one of those neat things. Are home consoles dead though? No, I don't think home consoles are dead. I think they're getting very, very, very close. You think about it now. What have been the newest console that it came out? The PS4, I guess the PS4 Pro and the Slim, the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, the Wii U, eh, is that really new? The Nintendo Switch. Now, if you think about this, this, and this here, the big things, they all play HD now, cool, excellent. The biggest thing is that two of these can play 60 FPS, cool, excellent, that's awesome. Another big thing is that I believe the One S, I'm not sure about the PS4 Pro, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I know the One S for sure does 4K. Maybe the Pro does 4K, I don't really know, I haven't really dove too far into that far yet because I'm more than happy with my PS4. But 4K, is that basically the new standard now for visual? I think so, if you think about it, 4K has been around for how long now? How long have you been seeing 4K broadcasts? 4K streams, 4K sports, I know in Canada we can have like 4K hockey games, 4K baseball ba games, 4K basketball games, there's a lot of b-ball sports if you really think about that, that's a comment for another day in all honesty. But there is a lot of resources now using 4K. Gaming getting into it, you know, it seemed like the next logical step, but my big question is how long is it going to be till we can do whole, like, whole console updates? via just online or taking it into a store. You think about PC gaming. PC gaming kind of got it right. If you build your own custom PC, you're basically building like a puzzle. You know, you got like your power source, you got like your graphics card, you got like other things. I haven't built my own PC, so I don't really know everything, but I know a lot of people who have built their PCs and they've told me it's just basically like assembling a puzzle. When one piece becomes outdated, you just go grab another piece and plug it right in. How long is it going to be until home consoles are at that point in time? I think we are basically there. We are right on the cusp of that happening. The PS4 Pro and the Xbox One S, how much more do you think they can improve before basically just saying, you know what, cut it out, maybe we'll do one last run and then something like that can just be update your card to this or update your visuals to this. That's where I think we're heading, honestly, in this point in time. But basically, the point I'm trying to get at is home consoles are not dead. They are goddamn very near close, though. Hardware specs, if you think about it nowadays, are just getting impressive to like, oh my god, basically you're running a giant PC in the form of a console right here. Like I said, I got my PS4 right here. As sleek as it looks, it's basically just a computer on the inside. The Xbox One and the One S, that's just a computer on the inside. What was That was like the Xbox's biggest thing when it first launched. Like, Back in what, 2000? It's like they just stuffed a computer inside of a console. Basically, that's all consoles are nowadays. It's just a computer inside a console. Try to imagine a time now where you're going to have to live without maybe having to buy a console every three to four years. Isn't that not bad? Like, that's not that big of a deal to maybe have to go out and spend 500 bucks every three to four years. So maybe you can go out, spend 100, and that'll last you another three years. Maybe you only have to spend Another 150 and that'll last you another two years of half a console price over the course of the next three to four years. That's that's more than manageable. I basically pay 80, 90 for one game nowadays. Like, how absurd is that? Basically, in summation, home consoles aren't dead. Enjoy your PS4, your Xbox One S, enjoy the Nintendo Switch when it comes out, man. There's gonna be a bunch of great games on all those consoles coming out in the future and probably for the next little while. But don't be shocked if there's a time when the next consoles come out and they go, that's it. Now we're just gonna go piece by piece. Hell, they could not even do that. I could just be completely wrong. And they could be making home consoles for the next 10, 20 years and I'll just be sitting here drinking, just being like, wow, I that one up. But 
Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if that's where we're going. Or even just, here's a controller, here's, here's the box, here's all on it. Here's all your games. Like, almost like the PS Now kind of is with the PS3. Like, don't be shocked if that happens, guys. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Are home consoles dead? Let me know what you think. How much longer do home consoles have? Am I just a complete idiot? You can just honestly tell me. Straight up, man, that's the best thing about the internet is we all have opinions. Whether you agree with them or you disagree with them, your opinions are opinions. So I say go right ahead and tell it, man. Till the next time, cheers. Stay classy, Gate Eaters. Stay classy.